Welcome to this normal distribution explorer. The app which is designed to understand probability distribution function PDF and also cumulative distribution function CDF in context of corporate finance in general and stock, stock prices returns in particular. So in the previous uh, learning, we talked about probability distribution function and uh, in this one, we will be talking about cumulative distribution function. Let us first of all understand the cumulative distribution function formula, which is given here. So this CDF shows the cumulative probability that a return will be less than or equal to a certain value. It is like filling up a glass of water and measuring how full it is at a particular point and at different points. And in, it is very interesting to understand this formula, right? So this f of x given mu and sigma squared, this here, this is what we are calculating and this represents cumulative distribution function. It tells the probability that the return would be less than or equal to x. So x is definitely the specific return value up to which we are measuring the probability. Since we are doing CDF and PDF in context of uh, stock returns, that is why x is a, a specific stock return value for us. And mu is definitely the mean of the distribution, the central point, and uh, sigma is a standard deviation, but here we have used a sigma square, so it is variation. And this interesting ERF is error function. A special mathematical function, this is used to calculate the probabilities for normal distribution. Uh, function variables, right? And this part, uh, which is in denominator sigma square root 2, is a scaling factor uh, necessary for adjusting the spread relative to, relative to the standard deviation, right? So, uh, in real life, right, uh, if you want a parallel uh, that, okay, what is CDF, then you fill a glass of water and uh, you then uh, uh, measure it that uh, how full it is at a different point. So it is just like that. Let us consider this scenario in our app. I have made adjustment to the default values and we are calculating specific return value for PDF at 2. And uh, first we are doing PDF and then we will of course do CDF as well. So when uh, the return, the average return is 2, the density of return at 2% of uh, re stock return is 0.3989. So it is uh, that uh, the probability of getting 2% returns is exactly 0.3989 which is 39.89 percent approximately 40 percent so approximately it is 40 percent chance that we will get a two percent return so this is pdf pdf gives us value right uh, of a probability uh, at a particular return which is on x-axis the horizontal axis however if we make similar changes in the CDF function and uh, I bring it to here, right, then CDF gives at a return of 2% a value of 0.5, which is 50%. So what does it mean that uh, the probability, the cumulative probability for a return up to 2% is 0 0.50, which means the 50% uh, probability is uh, the cumulative probability that yes, 
the return will be 2% or less than 2%. So this is all cumulative. So this is shaded in the CDF plot also. So this is cumulative up to 2%. Right. So CDF gives us this cumulative probability, right? Uh, at a particular point or less than that and uh, pdf gives us exactly at that point so this is difference between pdf and cdf and uh, in essentially cdf is calculated as integral of the pdf so this is another thing and it is represented the way we talked earlier Thanks for joining.